Something the clients often ask me, um, which I completely understand because I have this YouTube channel, it's quite personal. They want to know about my recovery and how long it took for me to, what they're usually interested in is how long did it take you to settle at your natural healthy weight as I like to call it, as I am now. Um, for those of you that don't know, I used to be 30 pounds heavier. Just a reminder that everything in this video, I'm just gonna be talking in generalized terms and it's not a substitute for professional advice. If that's what you need, then please do seek it. And I understand that sparks a lot of interest from uh, my clients of, oh well, how did you manage to lose that weight if you weren't dieting and you just had a normal healthy relationship with food and how long did it take and can that happen to me? So I do wanna just sit down and chat with you about that today um, because yes, I do firmly stand behind that if we can gain a normal healthy relationship with food, which is balanced, which you can have, and you know, you're eating mostly nutritious food but you're also being flexible and everything's just coming quite easily to you, no diet necessary, and you're living an active lifestyle and enjoying that, um, and just generally taking care of your well-being, then I firmly believe that that will lead you to your natural healthy weight. To me, that just seems logical, that just seems to make sense, and um, very few people that I've spoken to tend to disagree with me on that. Now, while I do firmly stand behind that, and it is one of the goals that I often have with clients, you know, is to get them or support them on their journey to get into their natural healthy weight, I do want to highlight the fact that every journey is different. I personally lost 30 pounds from my binge eating and dieting days down to where I am now. That's not to say that you will lose 30 pounds, it doesn't mean to say that you will lose 30 pounds in the time scale that I lost 30 pounds and I just, I really, really want to make that clear that every single journey is different and I think the, the most important thing from, when, from where I'm sitting is that we gain the normal healthy relationship with food that we want so we can live our lives, right, and be happy and thriving. And while obviously if you have disordered eating, one of the biggest things on your mind will be your weight and weight concerns, which I totally appreciate, but from where I'm sitting, the most important thing is that we, and I couldn't have done my recovery without this by the way, we build such great highs of confidence in ourselves and such great fulfillment in life and happiness that we're able to then improve our body image as a byproduct because we're no longer looking towards like weight control in order to feel as good as we possibly can. But then also to gain the patience through that necessary to follow this process along. To me, it's very counterintuitive if we want a healthy relationship with food to go into it solely because we think that it will give us our um, give us a fit body and you know be thin etc to me they're just counterintuitive I didn't go through the process of gaining a normal healthy relationship with food so that I would lose weight I didn't expect to lose weight and I was fully accepting of the fact that I may not lose weight and that's absolutely fine and I don't think I would have gone through the process and made it to the other side had that not been the case and it's really ironic really that in order to have a healthy relationship with food one that lends itself to fitness and health and our natural healthy weight we need to usually let go of the weight control and really mean that to be honest otherwise the sole focus is going to be of the marker of whether you did something right or wrong in a day is going to be well what's the impact of that going to be on my weight rather than well was I moving in line of a healthy relationship with food and why and why not and I think to help clients with this I often use this this logic, right, of if you agree that a healthy relationship with food and enjoying an active lifestyle will give you your natural healthy weight in time, then would it not make more sense to be focusing on that rather than weight control day to day? I've just made a checklist of my top 10 tips for being a healthy weight and being fit without dieting, so you can pick that up from the description if you're interested. And if every day as we're going through the journey we can reflect on what went well in terms of a healthy relationship with food, what we might want to problem solve or reflect on or work on, then over time we'll move towards it and then have, hopefully, and, and I do believe this, the health and fitness and healthy weight that it is that we're looking for. I heard this phrase once which I think is applicable. How's it go? I'm not going to do it justice. You only lose what you cling to. 
And if that doesn't really make any sense to you, then it didn't really make much sense to me either. But it's really applicable in this situation. So <clears throat> the ironic thing is, is that the more we try to control our food and like feel in control around food, actually what you probably notice is that the less control we have, and I don't mean just because of binge eating, I mean because then the food and the tracking of the food then starts to control us right but anyway i'm making this video because i understand the uh curiosity um of finding out about weight loss of people who have then stopped binge eating gained a normal healthy relationship with food um you probably looked up other stories as well to find out like a rough timeline of how long it's going to take you but watch out for that because the very doing that might be the thing that stands in your way. If you're struggling with binge eating then I can imagine that you feel really stuck at times and perhaps you're even nervous that you can't have a healthy relationship with food and I firmly disagree. You can absolutely move through this process on your own. I did. With your own research and your own trial and error. If you're at the point where you think one-to-one -one help could benefit you so that you can be coached and move through obstacles effectively and have your questions answered, then I'm also here. The vast majority of my clients stop binge eating within four to 12 weeks because I use a holistic approach that actually works. You can read more about how I work on my website and I also offer free 45 minute discovery calls.